what up youtube today's video is going to be called being cautious and once again i know y'all wondering why is the screen all black is because a lot of people had commented on my twist your hair video and said they couldn't hear me so i just got to speak into the mic clearly you know because when it was raining one day the rain had got into my speaker and tweaked it out or whatever you want to call it now look we have a super moon today right and as you know, every super moon or aka blood moon, there's going to be blood. And this is true because the government or whatever you want to call them, the Vatican, they do rituals. And they're not the only people that do rituals. There's a lot of people in this world that do rituals. There are good rituals and there are bad rituals. Just like everything in life, everything has a balance. Now, look, you have to be aware of everything you're doing at this point in time because the last moon we had was the revelations moon as in revealing everything you get what i'm saying the revealing times moon as i like to call it because this moon it's like um everything you think about or anything you put action behind because when you put action behind it it's basically energy you get what i'm saying because thoughts is energy and once you put that action behind those thoughts there's even more energy on top of that other energy so it's really going to manifest so it's like if you're still on a low vibrational state of mind, after this moon pass or during this moon, as of today, as I'm speaking, your mind, your reality is just going to manifest for you like that, just bad things. Now, if you're on that 13 love or you're on a higher vibration, you know, you're going to get everything smoothly because people don't get it. Like, we're really not here. The ones who've been building up the aura field, we are really not here because we are vibrating on a higher vibrational state of mind. So basically, it's like this. It's like, like I'm, I'm going to give another example. So basically, it's like this, right? I'm going to use me for example. I'm on a higher vibrational state, right? So let's say there's some people outside. You know how, like, in school, how they used to have those little, um, what's the things called? Those fire alarm things where they test the fire alarm and see if they work? Okay, let's see. Let's say, like, for example, right? A school is having one of those little fire drills, right? Let's say the whole staff is outside, and me, I could be walking past, but you know exactly what I would do? I would picture an energy field around my body, and I would hold my breath, let's say, for about nine seconds, and once I do that, I'm gone. Like, I can see myself because it's like I'm in my own bubble, but other people can't see me. Like in that other video I made, Paranormal Experiences, I can really disappear on people. If you're on a high vibration state, of course you can see me because we were damn near on the same level. But you, if you're under me, which 85% of the world is on the lower vibrational state, you can't see me. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So it's like you have to get your energy up. You have to build your aura field up because if you don't, all the bad stuff is going to happen to you because you open to it. Like you have no chi energy around you. You have no life force around you. You get what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people are attracted to me because I have life force resonating off my body. And you have to be cautious of who you let into your life because a lot of people are trying to cling on to people because they want their life force to feed off of. That's why a lot of people I try to avoid because I know they're trying to feed off my life force. And it sounds like an understatement, but it's not. It's like, I can only tell you so much. Like I said, if you ever met me in real life, I can show you some things. You know what I'm saying? Because we're a person. You know what I'm saying? Eye to eye. But when it's over YouTube and stuff like that, there's only so much I can tell you. Just like in the text message when you're texting somebody you know how like you want to say so much but it's only so much you can text because people can't really feel your emotion but at the same time it is a lot of people out there that can feel the energy off the text message like the energy the energy that you put behind it so it's basically like if you want to actually like evolve and keep moving on with your life like you want to keep progressing because that's what life is about keep progressing it's about having love in your heart actually trying to help somebody not chasing fake fiat currency because yes we need it but at the same time we really don't need it because if you got love in your heart you have everything and it seems like it's an understatement now but don't get me wrong once this moon is over with the energy level is gonna rise like it's already high trust me it's already high because if you're on the fourth dimension and psychic ability you know exactly what i'm talking about but once this moon once this moon passes it's a wrap. You're going to see even more blood on the planet. You're going to see more evil. 
that's only if you're on a lower vibrational state of mind. Now, if you're on a higher vibrational state of mind, you could peak down to, when I say peak down, you know what I'm saying? It's basically like I'm speaking in parables. People are like, what you mean peak down? If you're on a high vibrational state of mind, you can peak down and look what's going on in this 3D world. But what's the point of doing that? Because I've been on this planet for 19 years in this life, and I've seen so much violence and chaos, but it's going to get worse. Like, you know how it's like at one point in time, it's like a certain amount of violence. But now, since all this awareness is coming out, it's going to be even more violence because they need to stop us from doing our transitions. A lot of people are transitioning out. A lot of us are going to transition out. And that don't mean you have to necessarily get killed or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could just walk through a portal and boom. See, it sounds like it's a video game or something, but it's really not. This is lost knowledge. See, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people, they always resonate with the words I say because the things I'm saying is the things I speak from experience, like what I got a lot for experience about. You get what I'm saying? So it's like build your energy field up. See, I told y'all, I became, I came into awakening in 2012, which was really like 2005 at the time. But like I said, all my life, I always was already at a state of enlightenment. With all the bad foods, you know, that are put, that's put on us because we we don't know no better. Our parents are like, hey, you can eat this, you can eat that because they parents fed them the same thing and the same thing over and the same thing over. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I speak from true experiences. The things I see is what I consider real is because everything I do is real. You get what I'm saying? It's like, ain't no point of lying to nobody. Ain't no point of like, coming on YouTube and trying to make stories up because it's kind of hard for me to tell a lie. You get what I'm saying? It's like, I just got to tell the truth. That's just in my DNA. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, be cautious because people are trying to feed off your energy. And a lot of people don't get this. They always talking about, oh my gosh, I'm kind of hungry. My energy is low. But they don't believe that humans have, they don't believe that we humans have internal energy inside of us like the sun that's inside of us that's the inner sun that's where all the energy comes from and then what else you have you have serious that's in the brain get energy from there too enlightenment you get what i'm saying like so just be cautious people because people just want to start hanging with you and they can have good intentions they can have bad intentions but if you drink a pine needle tea you can see the future trust me i guarantee you like you drink your pine needle tea and you getting that sun energy and you eating right you can see the future in your dreams the dreams is real like this is serious